Istanbul, a historic crossroads, once the center of a vast empire. Visitors have flocked here for centuries to enjoy the city's sights and sounds, and these days, flavors. I think it's a very obvious place to, to go and experience through your stomach. Ansel Mullins of Chicago and New Yorker Yigal Schliefer have spent the last decade walking, talking, and eating their way through the streets of Istanbul. The consumption of food is, is quite an experience uh, that I think you can't compare to visiting a museum or reading a book. And with the rise of culinary tourism, the pair decided to share the city's flavors oh, nice. by turning their fascination with food These are the, the pepper kebab. Pepper kebab. <laughs> pepper kebab. <laughs> into a business. That's a good spot. Their website, Istanbul Eats, is a new kind of guidebook aimed at a new kind of traveler. I would say it's the easiest way to find the places that you really want to be in, according to us. <laughs> <laughs> Together they've charted everything from street carts to hole-in-the-wall joints. Fried is really good. To the local fish market. There is still that shock and awe at uh, the first beautiful grilled fish or the plate of hamsi or the, or the stew from the Black Sea. The two of them cater to tourists who don't want to feel like tourists. These shops, they kind of alternate. It's the cheese guys and the nut guys. By organizing curated walking tours through the ancient alleyways and local bazaars. So come on down here this way, folks. We tagged along on one recent walk led by Megan Clark. A PhD student from Vermont who now lives in Istanbul. Oh, it's exciting. <laughs> Joining us were Amber Mirza, her sons, Mickey and Rayon, and husband Sam, who grew up in Indiana. I'm really glad I don't know the exact details of what I'm eating. Breakfast was simit, a local pretzel, dipped in kaimak, clotted buffalo cream drizzled with honey. It's not just about sort of stuffing your face, it's really a narrative, you know, that tells the story of a city, the story of the population, and uh, I think that's something that's very enriching for people. And so these two backstreet gourmets, hoping to replicate Istanbul's taste sensation, have recently launched culinary walking tours worldwide, from Shanghai to Athens, Barcelona to Mexico City. What can be more fun than you know exploring a city's food culture? I mean, it's really so. It's let's say it's a, a self-interested mission driven by the desire to have fun and eat good food. 